Highly, highly recommend you grab yourself some Illenberger carbon fiber, guys. And the saga continues. Here's what you get and how you install it when you purchase Illenberger carbon fiber from Motivation USA. Only the greatest company in the entire world. Come on, man, you know the deal. I'm Mike, let's get to it. By the way, the packaging is always, always, always on point, guys. Here are a few cool things that you should know about Illenberger carbon fiber that we sell here at Motivation. It has a UV protection on it. It's ultra, ultra lightweight, guys. I love the fact that there are very little to no seam to these carbon fiber pieces, guys. We're gonna replace the Street Fighter V4S front fender. It's a fairly straightforward process. You have two screws on the left hand side and the right hand side of the motorcycle. Also, you have another nut that's back here. Just a quick heads up, just keep in mind these guys are Loctite. So when you are putting them back on, make sure you use some Loctite. Before you start taking things apart and pulling off the OEM fender to get the carbon on there, don't get too excited, don't rip anything off. There's a screw right under here you're gonna have to undo. And then the wiring, you're gonna have to disconnect first. Make sure you do that and don't freak out. It's always interesting shooting these videos because what's interesting is that uh, I have to do it in a very awkward position so the camera can see it properly. So <laughs> heads up, I'm just not awkwardly working on the bike. It's just a little sacrifice so you guys can actually see what we're doing so that way you can um, follow each step very closely and getting it done on your own. Perfect, now that we have it out, should be an under piece here. Hopefully you guys could make this out, you can see as I'm pulling it up. You're gonna reuse that. Now we're gonna undo the wiring carefully before pulling off the fender. The trick to kind of doing this very simple without guessing is to look underneath the fender right here, see where the exit, the wire exit out of the hook, and then you could kind of just use your fingers. You could hear that snap. Don't be super forceful. If something's not sliding out really easy, take your time. One of the snaps goes this way and then the next one goes that way, so be mindful. And you could hear it. There we go, that one's done. You just start seeing the wire coming out. There we go. Just so you don't make any mistake, because if you damage that cable, that could be like a very painful thing, financially painful as well. So see those little hooks on the inside? Guide your way out of it. My finger's passing. The little hooks are right in there and running up. Just follow them, slowly take your time. You should be okay. You don't want to cause any damage or anything weird like that. And they are running on like a little bit of an S-curve. Some are facing out, some of them are facing in. And yeah, that's it. And just like that, your OEM fender is off. See, this is where the wire was running. Some of them are hooking outwards, some of them are hooking inwards, just to kind of anchor the cable. So make sure you go slowly, because the first two are all going out. And then from there, you have two that's going in. Use your hands to kind of follow the groove, because it's into the inside of the fender. I'd say start with the top ones. Those are a little bit harder to getting done. And then work your way downwards. It's gonna be snug, but. We got one in. Danga. Got the second one in. Now I'm gonna do this one right there. These are a little flexible, so you might be able to bend them a little bit. 
There we go. Got that one. Get that one in as well. Take a quick look on the inside. They should all be in a running third. So once everything's already into their loops, you're gonna pinch them back that way. They're not just hanging out there. It will be held in place. Now we're just gonna apply a little Loctite on each one of these screws before putting them back on. So we're almost done. All we're doing now is at this point is placing all the components back and then we'll tighten things down. Just keep in mind this OEM piece of plastic that's sandwiched between the two brake lines. This portion here with the little hooks go on the inside. Basically this way, okay? Just like that. Want to make sure there you go that's that guys carbon fiber is all done looks beautiful looks beautiful I'm not gonna lie I'm a little spoiled because I'm really digging this little saga we got going on with Ilmberger carbon fiber on the Street Fighter we're talking about next level weight savings looks amazing and drill dropping every time you pull up damn all oh. facts facts all factual all right as recommended, use your parts purchase to support the store that support your sport. Motivation USA gives back to the riding community with everything from safety seminar courses and worldwide racing sponsorships. For the most trusted parts and accessories, shop motivationusa.com, the greatest company in the entire motorcycle industry. You guys know the deal. Every single one of the links will be in the description down below. And remember, ride safe and ride often. Peace.